Amber was stuck in the forest. Whether it was the Viridian Forest, she couldn't tell, because she was already profoundly lost. According to the map, she was supposed to be on Route 1 northbound to Viridian City. The problem was she couldn't tell which way was north, because Marigold was the one with the compass. She just decided to keep moving forward until she found Route 1 or Viridian City, whichever comes first. Meanwhile, Bruce and Marigold had already made it to Viridian City. They are currently on their way to the Pokemon Center. I'm glad we're back in civilization, Marigold said. I don't think I could stand another day in the middle of nowhere. Where do you think Amber is? She's probably gotten out of the forest and is on Route 1 and headed to meet us right now, Bruce said. Don't worry about it. Meanwhile, Amber was worried about it. She had checked her map, but it turns out the Viridian Forest is past Viridian City. This was humiliating. She was lost in a plain old regular forest. Maybe it wasn't the Viridian Forest that was a rite of passage. Maybe it was just the journey up Route 1. The journey she'd never complete. Just then, she saw someone several feet ahead of her. It looked like they were dressed in one of those dinky tan adventurer outfits. Amber ran up to them and shouted, Excuse me! Excuse me! When she approached him, he turned to her and said, What is it, little lady? Do you know a way out of here? Amber asked. Little lady, you've been you're asking the wrong guy, the man replied. Fifteen years I've been stuck in these catacombs. Well, fifteen days, but you get the point. He reached out and shook Amber's hand. The name's Kay, spelled K-A-Y, as in O-K. I'm Amber, spelled A-M-B-E-R, as in Amber. Nice to meet you, Amber, Kay said. How old are you? Ten. Ah, uh, ten, the age of a fresh young Pokemon trainer. Where are you from? Wait, no. Let me guess. Cinnabar Island. Palatown. Snap! You look like you could be from Cinnabar Island. You look like the kind of person who's never had to navigate a forest. Well, I've never had to navigate a forest. Neither do the people on Cinnabar Island, but now you do! Come with me. He began moving forward, and Amber followed him. As they journeyed cast, so I'm assuming you want to get to Viridian City? Amber nodded. Then I suggest we move south until we get to Route 2 and head to Viridian City. But isn't Viridian City north of here? Oh, we're not in the Viridian Forest? Silly me! Ha ha ha! In that case, we can either head north to Route 22 and then go east to Viridian City, or we can go east to Route 1 and up north to Viridian City. Well, I was on Route 1 before, so I guess we'll go that way. All right, then. East it is. Do you know which way is east? Nope, Amber said. My friend has the compass. Worry not, little lady, Kay replied. I am the compass. My sense of direction is impeccable. He pointed ahead of it and spun around a few times. I say it's that way. So they headed that way. When they finally made it out of the forest, Amber yelled, Oh, Arceus, we made it! Five dollars, please, Kay said. Wait, what? You see, in all my years in the business, I've learned that most people would rather get lost in the forest than pay five dollars for someone to guide them out. So I don't mention the payment until after I help them, so they have no choice but to pay. What business? I never told you, I am the founder, president, and CEO of Kay's Forest Guiding Service. Been helping people out of the Viridian Forest for the past 15 years. You know what, Amber said. How about we barter? Amber took her map out of her backpack and gave it to Kay. You can have my map so you can figure out we're not in the Viridian Forest. Good call, little lady, Kay said. Happy trails. Amber turned left and headed for Viridian City. As she walked, she realized that Kay might have led her north by accident and that she might be on Route 22 going west, not east, which was the right way. As she passed another traveler, she asked, Excuse me, is this Route 1? Nope, the traveler replied. This is Route 22. Amber's suspicions were confirmed. She turned around and headed east. After a few hours, she caught her first glimpse of civilization in a long time. She had arrived at Viridian City.